now. Just made a coffee. It's early morning here. We left Morea last night at sunset and motored through the most beautiful, perfect, calm, clear night ever. No wind, of course. And here it is, sunrise, and we are arriving at our next stop, the island of Huahine. Through the windshield laid out across the street. Sailors said they didn't like this place. I don't know why they would not like it. It's funny, always hear different opinions um, from people that you respect as well. And it just goes to show, you know, check it out yourself.
it's still, it's clear water, it's beautiful, there's roosters running around on the beach, the islanders, they've got these amazing homes right on the waterfront, they're just chilling out and loving life, it's just the most perfect place, one of the beautifulest places we've been in our whole trip. What just happened mate? Oh well, I was on the swing and then I jumped into the water and everybody thought I was knocked out and Dad just jumped in the water looking for me. I came to save your life. Yeah, and Bella was looking everywhere and then I came up and I'm like, what are you guys all doing? Why is Dad in the water? And he's like, oh, I thought you were knocked out. And I'm like, what? swimming. Hey Bella, what are we doing tomorrow? I don't know actually, Dad. Yes, you do. <laughs> I think we're, it's Bastille Day, which is like the French Revolution sort of thing. Which, is that what it is? Yeah, I think it is. A celebration of it. There's not actually anyway. going to be a French Revolution. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it we get be. to go to like the sort of lunch thingy, which is going to be cool. And That's an umu. That's about it. An it's umu? Umu. It's like a hangi. What's a hangi? Oh, it's like they cook food in the ground with the coals and stuff. Pump. It's very smoky. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah, it's going to be yum. <laughs> she's going to do all the dishes. This is just going to take like... She swear, she has to do all no, the dishes. No, you just have to do it. She has to do all the dishes. She does. She swears. But the dishes are done. That's not mine. No, no, no. What are we playing? Spoons. How does this game work, guys? You eat each other. Uh, well, basically, if somebody picks up a spoon, try to get the spoon. Here's my cards. What do I do? Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I, I, right, actually, uh, I have no idea how to play. Can, can, you, can you shut up and I'll explain? Can you be quiet and I'll explain? What are you doing? What are you I'm doing? passing them around. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're just putting them all into your hand. Come on, guys. Look at it and you pass it down. Yes! I got four aces! You think that I'm competitive, but you are really competitive. Not too many at once. Who got out? Wait, no, but I actually fought down. I didn't get out. I okay, stop! We are going to celebrate your Bastille Day here by going to this lunch at Shotara where they do the umu or the cooking of the food under the ground cooking food under the ground where is it? it where is it behind the bananas oh, yeah, down behind here the bananas. so in new zealand we call this a hangi what do they call it here an umu an umu and what sort of food do you reckon we'll be having chicken and pork chicken and pork and maybe fish maybe some cooked banana or something so our boats just literally smack out in the bay. Yeah. Quick little dinghy ride to this cute place, and it looks like this family just does this every Sunday. It's their deal. Pretty cool. <laughs> Trick with ground cooking is, of course, keeping the sand off it, and they're very carefully folding these tarps away. Just the blokes doing this. Very male dominated. No females involved in this process. No females. They probably did all the Yeah, yep. but the girls did all the weaving. That you reckon the girls did all the weaving? Yep. Those baskets. I can assure you I wouldn't be doing any weaving. Why not? <laughs> Weaving's boring. Not sexist, are you, mate? I think we're a little bit in the way. Let's go join the rest of the tourists. Found our spot. Found the spot. This is it. Yeah. It's cute in here. They've gone to a lot of trouble with all the decorations and everything. Totally. And then mm. you've put lots of light into not only your lounge and your kitchen, mm. but if those mezzanine bedrooms had like opening. You know how you can have like shutters and something opening out onto the mezzanine. This so is what we do out. now, eh, buddy? The closer we get to New Zealand, we, get all that light we as well. talk yeah. development. You have to do some housing renovations. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, it's driving you nuts, right? Yeah, we don't talk about anything else. Every conversation. 
It's a house to develop. <laughs> Naomi loves, conversation. Naomi loves it. Naomi loves it. Bella and David, not so much. They're a bit over it. They're the light bookshelves, you know, the ones that we saw in Columbia, oh, the big yeah, cool. ones. Oh, and you have a fireplace. I like it. Yeah. Jeff, did you like it, mate? Yep. The fish. The fish was good. Apparently, the toilets are beautifully decorated. So we have to go and find out. Bit of decoration. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Once again, we've really eaten all of the dessert before we can show you guys, but it's essentially carbs that have been uh, turned into jelly. You want that one? Oh no, I don't like them. No, no, no. Was the consensus? Uh, pretty good. good. A lot of it was pretty good. good. A lot of it was carbs. Awesome to try new food. Yeah. Totally. Meat. The, meat. the meat was good. It's a restaurant. Hey Dad, what did we what did we oh, think? It was great. Yeah. yeah good what was your great. favorite? Had raw fish than you got. The raw fish with garlic yeah. is pretty good, hey? Yeah. And the desserts were lovely. The desserts are basically root vegetables with sugar. There's a holy way to fucking Oh,